Well, as states consider the best way to reopen the economy, technology that's been around for years is suddenly in high demand to detect fevers. And one of the leading companies making that technology has a lot of local employees. In the last minute, the flood of new customers for the hottest cameras on the market. Police in Watertown couldn't see marathon bomber Johar Sarnayev in the boat, but he couldn't hide from their thermal imaging camera. That technology picked up his body heat. Manhunt over. We're essentially looking at elevated skin temperatures. Paul Sarapusco is Strategic Business Development Director at FLIR Systems, with offices in Nashua and manufacturing in North Bill Ricca. He says in airports overseas, the cameras have been screening travelers for years. If you flew through Incheon Airport in uh, South Korea, a month ago or six months ago or a year ago, you actually still walk by a camera looking at elevated skin temperatures. Emirates Airlines began additional screening of U.S. bound passengers last month. Thermal imaging doesn't diagnose coronavirus, but if it detects a fever, that person undergoes more testing. It's been used that way in outbreaks of SARS, H1N1, and Ebola. Sarah Pusco says FLIR is now hearing from factories, hospitals, schools, and stores, all interested in buying cameras. This is just one method of you know, screening employees or screening consumers, whatever the application may be, and make sure that they're working in a safe environment. And this was interesting. In case you're wondering, FLIR Systems is using the thermal imaging cameras to check its employees as they arrive for work locally. It's a smart way to do things. I mean, you may be saying, well, what about people who are asymptomatic? They're not going to have the fever, but at least you sort of catch, if that's the right word, some of the population who might be able to spread. Right. And they know there will be some questions about privacy, yeah. but right now they say you don't see the image so clearly as much as you see the temperature. Interesting story. Good stuff.